Imagine, if you had the ability to go back in time and become one of the first people in the world to mine an experimental piece of technology called Bitcoin, would you do it? Well, you might potentially have your shot with Greencoin. I'm going to tell you what it is, the easiest way to mine it, and most importantly, is it worth it? Coming up. If this is your first time here and you want to learn all about cryptocurrencies, start now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. OneCoin in particular is generating a lot of excitement and could also signal the resurgence of GPU mining. It has been in the works since late 2016 and it is a fully donations-based project that was launched fairly. It's not an ICO, it's not pre-mined, and it doesn't have founders rewards. In a lot of investors' minds, it kind of pattern matches to a Bitcoin 2.0. In short, Grin is a privacy coin that uses the Mimblewimble blockchain protocol, a coin with no amounts no addresses, and it scales by leveraging cryptography to allow most of its past transaction data to be removed. It's not very often that a new cryptocurrency protocol receives so much attention from Bitcoin community members. And if we're talking about altcoins, the chances for BTC maximalists to get involved are even lower. However, Mimblewimble and Grin are proving to be a different story. I really love this story. I mean, Mimblewimble is one of those crazy things that happen in crypto space that one day is going to be in a movie. Every now and then you get these incredible um, explosions of innovation and new ideas that come out of completely unexpectedly, completely out of nowhere. Back about a year and a half or two years ago, uh, someone showed up on the IRC chat room uh, where developers hang out. This user appeared with Voldemort's uh, secret name on on this chat, posted one link to a secret uh, Tor Onion site, and on that site was a single PDF with uh, a paper, a paper called Mimblewimble. And Mimblewimble is actually the name of a spell in Harry Potter. The brilliant thing about this is this paper comes out of nowhere. Uh, the user posts that only one thing disappears, and Start, and everyone who started reading this paper realized that this was a very, very serious uh, new way of doing blockchains. So the Mimblewimble protocol is a way of constructing a blockchain and some novel cryptography that can be used to construct a blockchain and how you structure the transactions and what you store in transactions. This is not something that can be added to Bitcoin. This is a completely different implementation of how blockchain works. For me personally, what really got me interested in Grincoin was the fact that it was supported by one of the original crypto YouTube OGs, DaVinci15. If you guys don't know who DaVinci15 is, please look him up on YouTube. Basically, he's the guy who was begging people to buy Bitcoin back when it was only $1 a piece. So I believe his seal of approval really means something. Bitcoins is a new revolution idea and I know that most people don't get it. I know you don't get it. If you really, really want to become wealthy in the future, I suggest you take one frickin' dollar, get some Bitcoins, put it away. Really, the $64,000 question is, what name do you think and what kind of concept do you think is gonna do really well going forward? Well, I, I like a coin that has POW, right? That's proof of work. And uses UTXO has a lot of privacy built into it as well. And that coin is for me is Grin. It's not been launched yet. It uses Mimblewimble to do the privacy side of it. And it's a lot faster than Bitcoin. It's a lot compact. And so I think this coin is going to do extremely well. Now that it has officially launched, with over 10,000 followers on Grin's official Twitter account, there is a sizable community supporting and watching the continued development of this privacy coin. However, it should be noted that Grin has its own downsides, as it is designed to be highly inflationary in its early years. Check your watch and listen to every tick. That's how often a new Grin coin gets mined. 
It's actually a block per minute containing 60 coins. There is no deflationary halving, no system to adjust the supply over time, and no maximum cap. Grin is meant to be money that can be spent privately, not a store of value whose price increases over time due to scarcity. Essentially, Grin will have an infinite amount of coins with a linear supply schedule. This means that inflation is very high in the early days but continually lowers over time. The initial hype brought the coin's value to as much as $261 when the coin first emerged. Other coins, such as Monero, Zcash, and Ravencoin, had a very similar pattern to Grin. The inflation rate was very high in the early days. Therefore, the price dropped until the inflation ratio decreased. From that point, the fundamentals of the coin takes control and moves the price up. As far as mining is concerned, there is a tremendous opportunity for first movers to take advantage of the high rewards from early mining. Just as long as you have the right hardware, of course. I'm going to show you an easy step-by-step -step guide to mining Grin on Windows that will get you up and running in no time at all. Mining on graphics cards has been a roller coaster ride over the last couple of years, but with the rise of privacy coins such as Grin and Beam means that 2019 could be a profitable year for GPU miners, providing you move fast. With maybe the most expensive Genesis Block 1 in history, GrinCoin is designed to be hard on memory, requiring miners to have cards with high memory capacity. In this quick guide, I will only be covering Grin Gold Miner, which has been used since the testnet times to mine, and has been stable for me with no crashes. However, do experiment around yourself to see what works for you. I'll leave the download links in the description below. So, what do you need to mine Grin? You'll need a graphics card that has at least 6 gigabytes of RAM. Most of the high-end AMD and Nvidia models should suffice. Download the Grin Gold Miner. Then copy and paste the files to a folder on your desktop. Then go back to the same page and download Microsoft Net Core 2.2. Now go back to your GrinCoin folder and run GrinGold Miner CLI. You'll need to select a pool. There are many pools operating out there at the moment, but I'm personally using GrinMint.com, so I'm entering the number 3. Enter an email as your login. It doesn't have to be your personal email. Just make sure you follow the formatting. Also make sure you enter a strong password. Now it has created a configuration file with all of your information. Once you launch the miner again, it should start mining. And there you go, you are mining Grin. Overall, if you are looking for a get-rich-quick altcoin, then Grin is probably not for you. Grin was launched on January 15th, 2019. It's still a very young and experimental implementation of blockchain technology. But hey, so was Bitcoin. So, in the words of DaVinci15, I'd suggest you get yourself one dollar worth of green coin and put it away. Goes to nothing, who cares, right? You only spent a dollar. Make sure you're subscribed and like this video. Also, if you want to find the latest and greatest on cryptocurrencies, make sure you visit our website at mineable.com. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.